securing A. Not one yet. Keep it tight. All locations secure. Maintain current posture. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Let me set the stage for you real quick. I am in a small party. We are playing Domination. Hardcore. I've got the score flashing up right there. It was obviously 14 to 38. But I had capped two positions already. Came over for my second. So we'll go ahead and get into this video. What I wanted to talk about, since we're nearing the end of this gaming cycle, as I get my Wraith, was what goals are left for you in Black Ops 3? Is there any more goals, any more things that you feel like you need to accomplish by the end of this gaming cycle? So for people that have gone ahead and secured their Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare, you will be receiving COD 4 Remastered a month early, which kind of coincides with the DLC for Salvation map pack being released on September 6th. So I'm curious to know why you're still on this game. What is bringing you back to this game? Are you still going for Dark Matter? Do you need to unlock hero gear? Do you want to max out a certain section of guns? Uh, do you just play the party with your friends? You know, any reason are you hunting for a, a particular weapon through supply drops? You know, there's, what do they say? Whatever floats your boat. A lot of us play for a lot of different reasons. Obviously, since I have a YouTube channel, and in case you're new to it, you're on it, Noob to Sweaty Gaming, with your boy, Dark Tail the Wise, as he went ahead and dropped the raps on them. And like we say in that camp, Camper Nation, once you drop the raps, it's a wrap. And so I'm just wondering why some of my subs, some of my day ones, some of the people that happen to stumble upon this video right here. Why are you still on this game? And since we're going ahead and asking questions, let me ask you another one. Are you pre-ordered or do you plan on buying Infinite Warfare? Because in case you are, or in case you're going to, like I said, I got the Legacy Edition. The first COD I started playing online with the homies was COD 4. So for me, it already has a, a nostalgic factor. I understand that Infinite Warfare has the same mechanics, the sliding, the wall jumping, boost jumping. Uh, it has the same mechanics as Black Ops 3. It's been said very comparable, which pretty much means from the developers, hey, you're playing Black Ops 3. That's what you're getting in Infinite Warfare. But COD 4 Remastered is boots on the ground. You ain't getting motherships in COD 4 Remastered. <laughs> and so for a lot of these young kids who are followers and not leaders, they're going to end up thinking, oh, I like boots on the ground too. And then they're going to go play COD 4 Remastered and be extremely disappointed. So the reason why I bring it up is because 
of course you know if you've been with me through the last two map packs that when they come out I do a live stream I try to show the maps not really concentrated on gameplay too much during those live streams but I will show you the content early in case you don't have it but since I'll be getting COD 4 remastered I'm pretty sure that's gonna be going up on this channel pretty quick and I'm also pretty excited about it so I wanted to hear more from y'all so let me know in the comment section why are you still here look at this I got hives on it on his butt no scope hive kill let's go I already dropped my my second wraith and we're gonna do the wraps again we're pushing it we're getting close there's them wraps dropped in oh and there is the double mothership these guys are so busy trying to shoot things down from the air that they are not paying attention to me shooting them in the face and here comes that ship Ooh, hey, look at that cinematic dropping the second ship on these boys and girls <laughs> So like I said, are you excited for Infinite Warfare? Are you playing COD 4 Remastered? And what is there left for you to do in this game itself? Because honestly, I am still enjoying myself. The same problems still exist, unfortunately. Guess what? The lag is real. And it affects us. And ooh, look at the new sweaty obituary. Making a comeback. So I play this game, basically I'm still playing Black Ops 3 to game with my buddies. And I've got enough material, i got enough videos to last me through the rest of this life cycle of this game. There is not much left to it. So you kind of have a feel for why I'm still on this game. I want to hear from y'all. So we went ahead and these guys actually took out that second mothership pretty quick. I would too. I mean, I'm pretty sure they all had a launcher on after the first one. If they didn't, tap out. So let's see those numbers. Look at this. The Mohawk chicken dance. Look at that. 77 and 1. Which is kind of a trip because we went on a 64 kill streak out of 77 kills. Double mothership. 77 KD. And we got it with the Dark Matter Slapper. That is my setup. My version of the trusty BRM. I affectionately, uh, affectionately call it the slapper because it slaps we went ahead and rocked a 29 kills and two motherships got us a fury kill we went in had us a good game it helps to have some support from the teammates and we get into the dark matter slapper setup i hope you guys enjoyed the intro that was a mothership in 58 seconds. And that's it for this one. I appreciate everybody and everybody's support. And I will be seeing y'all on the next one. Until then, peace out, homie.